this exhibition is called a Contemplation and Construction. We're featuring two remarkable painters. One is an artist based in China, Li Gang, and the other one is initially from, was born in Jerusalem, but she is now in New York. What really links both of their work is the way they honor the tradition and the traditional technique, but also really trying to use that as the foundation to find something very explosive and expressive as well. Because both of them, at first glance, doesn't have too much to do with each other, but I see architectural elements in it. Noah's work uh, has very, very bold, uh, very expressive uh, brush stroke. Even though the work looks representational, each of the brush stroke is very abstract. And you know, she's basically inherited from the traditional Western style of painting and, and in, insert her own vocabulary. And Li Gang is trained as a traditional Chinese painter, but the work he is using mix of ink on paper, then apply acrylic. So both technically it's very challenging because of the two different media, but also the content. When you look at it, you kind of feel there's a resonate with the uh, Southern Buddha image, but in a very abstract sense. However, if you look at closely, each of them is very literary. It's sort of alluded to the bricks you need to use to build up the architectural buildings. And he also kind of alluded to this layers of work that's involved in human civilization. The images were taken from photographs I took in a construction site in Manhattan in the past three years. They show, as you can see, they represent uh, small fragments of the site, not necessarily the whole site. I chose to focus on little compositions inside the site that show a few of the tools or a pile of stuff that, that is used in the site that I don't necessarily know what it's used for, but I liked the colors and the combination of shapes and colors is really what motivated me to take the picture and then take it back to the studio and paint from it. These are not uh, realistic, uh, photorealistic paintings. I use the photos more like a sketch or a way to capture a situation I want to paint. And uh, also, in order to paint something for observation, actually, you have to abstract what you see. Um, you cannot think about what it is. You have to only see it as, as like a flat surface of made of color and shape in order to represent it in a flat surface, so this is the process I'm going through. I think aside from the actual object, she is looking for a social and political um, angle to it, because if you look at her early work, which we have a very small piece here, and a front piece, is uh, she took images of the ruins in Palestine and Jerusalem. So it's also through architecture to comment on the social political issues. And from that perspective, Li Kam is sort of doing the same thing. He really wanted to honor, respect, but also extend the livelihood of the media of ink. So he's trying to find a contemporary expression and also trying to make the work very easily accessible for contemporary viewers, young people. So in that way to extend the culture of ink. So from that perspective, you know, both Noah is one extending the culture of oil painting, but also rooted on social, political issues. And same with Li Gang, you know, extending the tradition, but also inserting the spiritual aspect of it. So within a contemporary society, he lives in Beijing with rapid urban development, how one can find its own place to contemplate while construction is happening outside.